Good morning. It's 7.30 in the morning. In about 30 hours our first guests are coming and we have the disaster. <laughs> our hot water boiler was not working so good so we ordered already a new one. But with the current situation in the world the delivery is unknown. So we were just hoping that the old one will make it and the old one will not make it. In the upper floor in the small room we have a swimming pool now overnight. Look at it. The whole floor is under water. It's a lot of water and even our sofa, I already flipped it, it's completely wet. Here you see it tripping. And the biggest challenge will be to get the water boiler today. So we just remove all the water now and then we will have our morning tea and look what we will do and make a plan. Could you find a solution? No, not yet. Our plan is that I will go preparing everything like we planned. So I will go to the tourism office. I got it. Wow, he got something. There is one stock in Lamone next to here. Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> I repeat myself. So, our plan is that I will go with what we planned. So, I will prepare a lot of stuff um, because for the moment the house is more or less the way that we can live in there. But now the guests are coming, so we have to remove and reorganize some things. Uh, I will go on with that. Like, move all our clothes into our room, which we will close. Then I will go to Lugano, I will drive down there to go to the tourism office to get some information for the guests, like some plans of the region and so on. He will get the hot water boiler somehow here in Ticino with his hands and feet. He's not speaking Italian, so this will be fun. And hopefully up there the sofa will dry. I just cleaned it. It's completely wet from the bottom, so I hope this will somehow dry and that we will get the boiler and we have cold water at least and it's warm outside, so for cleaning it's not an issue, but tomorrow 10.30 in the morning the guests arrive and now it's 8 in the morning and we only have cold water, we have a wet room up there we have no lights, um, well, not nice lights, we have to install them. We have to change um, some things in the bathroom. This is a crazy day today. But I would say, let's start the day. Two hours later, Marcus made it. He got a new boiler. So now it's all about letting out the rest of the water of the old one and installing the new one. Luckily, this is Marcus' job, so he knows what to do. And most probably, if nothing comes in between, no troubles arising, our guests will have nice and hot water tomorrow. And in the meantime, I will clean the kitchen a little bit and decorate the rest and make the bed and so on. So, one problem solved, let's see if another one comes. And in between, uh, I also sold the freezer we, which we have downstairs. Uh, we got it from the previous owner and we definitely don't need a big freezer. So I sold it online and I'm just waiting for the guy to pick it up. And yeah, so what a morning. <laughs> 
I'm back from Lugano. I got a lot of material for our guests, like maps where they can hike, where they can eat, what they can do here. So this is perfect. And then I found some fancy house shoes. And yeah, one thing that is really cool that I also found, this is Gazzosa. That's a welcome drink for our guests. It's a typical Ticinese um, lemonade. And this one is made of grapes. It's without alcohol, so it's really tasty, but very sugary. So I really, really like it. It's not healthy, but it's nice. And Marcus is working like crazy to get the hot water boiler ready. The old one is already completely out of order. We let out all the hot water inside, brought the other one, the new one, upstairs. And yeah, let's have a look at what he's doing at the moment. That is the old one! What a day and what a night we had. We finally stopped filming because we were just working like crazy. So, a short summary of yesterday. In the morning, I went upstairs. The whole floor was covered in water. The hot water boiler had been broken down completely, like losing water like crazy. So, no chance. We were lucky to get a new one because nowadays normally you have to wait one two months um, we were really lucky that we found one that is working that is kind of the same as the old one so we installed it it's anyway it's heavy to carry it up but we installed it everything fine and then the whole electricity broke down but not like it was dark it was some flickering light then we changed something then some lamps were on, some were not. We switched some other things. Other lamps were burning, then it was dark again, and this continued like till 8 p.m. We finally asked our neighbor, who only speaks Italian, and he's an electrician, so he helped us a little bit. Um, still, he was like, this is really strange. I don't know what to do. I don't know why we all have this problem, but at least the lamps are on, the Wi-Fi was working again, which was also done yesterday, and the water is hot. So we luckily discovered last night, it was around 11 p.m., that we finally can rent out the house and the guests arrived today at 10.30. It was crazy. So we just tried to stay calm. We slept for about three hours. So sorry if I look completely destroyed. We are destroyed. But the house is ready. And now I will give you a tour. Oh. And this is Casa Olamundo. When you visit us, you get some nice Swiss slippers. And the room on the left side, as it says in Italian, privato, it's closed for the people visiting. This is just our room. I will give you a quick sneak look into it. It's a mess, but we are getting close. So here is our office. We found a nice cupboard, some things to hang our clothes. And up here, we are sleeping. But as I said, 
we will close this, no one can enter. We want to have our private part when we come here, we sleep in our own bed and we don't have to clean before when we come, so that's why we just closed this room. Now, coming to our living room. This is a big sofa bed. It sleeps two people. You can pull it out. It's very comfy, good mattress. And up there, the new lamps, which we installed at midnight. Uh, and we have a little library and we kindly ask all our visitors to read in it, but not to take something so that everybody can enjoy it. There are some travel guides some mountaineering books, some climbing books, and some novels, and also cooking books, of course, of vegan and Ayurvedic recipes. So here in the corner, we have some nice information for the guests about the whole region, what to do, where to walk, where to bike, where to go shopping, and so on, and the bus schedule. The Wi-Fi is working perfectly. It's, it's quite fast. I can easily upload videos, the fireplace, some more books. Here's some blankets. It's unimaginable at the moment, but sometimes it's really cold here in Ticino. So we come here into the kitchen. Look how clean this place is now. Here the sink, everything ready for the people to arrive. Nice plant which I found. Um, the oven. The table. And here is a cupboard full of wonderful things like candles, games, whatever you need. Have a sneak look outside. We put some flowers for the guests here. And our sitting area. Some nice lamps. And have a look. Our grapes are growing. Amazing. Coming to the bathroom. Uh, the light is a bit flickering. Sorry for that. Um, here is the shower. Hopefully the water is working. I put some fresh towels. Really cleaned the toilet thoroughly. Okay, some more toilet paper and the sink. But look at this amazing thing. Great. That was the lower part. And now let's go upstairs. Here is the cupboard, which is empty and can be used by the guests. And here we come into the sleeping room. Um, a nice cupboard, which I painted. Put some lamps, fresh bed linen. And we also have a nice new lamp here and look this super beautiful decoration, which I found. Nice lamp. And also a box where you, they can put their stuff. And clean windows with a beautiful view outside. And behind the sleeping room, there's another very low room that's still a chaos we rent it anyway um, here hidden behind this sarong is the old water boiler which is broken but the two of us alone we could not carry it down um, behind is the new water boiler and we have some problems with the electricity so no one should touch it so that's why we put put the ladder here and some stuff around we are very sorry for that, but we cannot handle it otherwise. 
at least it's all clean. And this whole room was flooded yesterday. We dried everything, even the sofa is dry again. The chairs are dry, so it smells still a bit wet, but it's okay. Yeah, this is Casa Olamundo. I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, from now on, after we fix the electricity problem, which we will do when the guests who come today, like in half an hour they come, um, when they leave, they stay for three nights. And when they leave, we will have a deep look into the electricity. We have a friend who's really a professional because Marcus is great with the hot water systems, but electricity is kind of a different thing. So we look with him, we fix the problem, and then we rent it out again, and you can be the next one visiting us. So I hope you like Casa Olamundo. We really love it. We put all our enthusiasm and love and passion in it. It was a joy renovating it, as you have seen in the last videos. Watch them if you haven't seen them. It's good fun. And check out our website. It's www.olamundo.ch. There you find all the information about um, our little Casa Olamundo. And yeah, hope to see you live here in our casa very soon. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and yeah, see you soon. Hola mundo. And by the way, of course, uh, the work here in the Casa Hola Mundo will never finish. We will still continue with some renovations coming from here. Uh, we have some plans about which we don't want to talk now. And what else will we do in our future videos? We will give you a whole bunch of ideas and links about things to do around Casa Ola Mundo. And of course, also uh, at Lake Thun, where we live, we will do some amazing things and take you with us. So stay tuned.